Hi everyone, I'm June. Welcome to my channel. Today we'll be experiencing Japan. Japan is a country in East Asia. It is a group of many islands close to the east coast of Korea, China, and Russia. My dad brought these souvenirs from Japan when I was little. This country is a monarchy whose head of the state is called the emperor. Maybe that's why they had souvenirs like these. And these earrings were for my mom. They seem to be the cherry blossoms. The cherry blossom, which is called sakura in Japanese, is an important symbol of the country and is its unofficial national flower. There are many different cherry tree varieties in Japan, and most of them bloom for just a few days in spring. The seasonal spectacle, the hanami, is celebrated in Japan, which is a cherry blossom viewing party under the trees. This was a gift from the hotel where I stayed in Kyoto. Now the word origami is used as an inclusive term for all folding practices, regardless of their culture and origin. But actually it is a Japanese word. Ori means folding and gami means paper. I used to be making the paper cranes all the time when I was a child. This paper is so pretty. The cherry blossoms are on the paper. This little memo pad and envelopes are gifts from my friend who had traveled in Japan before I did. I couldn't figure out what's written here in Japanese, but the color reminds me of the cherry blossoms again. I've been to Japan just once in my life. I was so excited about this trip because it was my first time to be there. And I was gonna meet my friend I haven't seen in a long time since she left Germany. She's living in Hong Kong and when I told her that I'll be in Japan for five days, she told me, let's meet there. So we met at the Osaka airport. Oh my god, I was so happy to see her. Directly from the airport, we took a train to Kyoto. Thank god my friend was there with me. Because the signs were sometimes written only in Japanese. And I couldn't read it, but my friend did. There were so many interesting sites in Kyoto. We visited the Fushimi Inari Taisha Shrine, which is one of Japan's most famous shrines. This shrine was founded in 711 AD and dedicated to the goddess of rice growing. Until today, there are merchants and tradesmen who come here to pray for prosperity. Look at this beautiful golden pavilion. It was originally built in the 14th century as a retirement villa for Shogun Ashikaga Yoshimitsu and is now a Zen Buddhist temple. Nijo Castle was built in 1603 and later served as the seat of government. The complex has several buildings containing many significant works of art. 
There were animal paintings and painting of mountain landscapes by Kano Tanyu and his pupils to see. The original Kyoto Imperial Palace was built in 794 AD and replaced several times after being destroyed by fire. The present building was constructed in 1855, but it was still impressive. The highlights were its finely decorated gates and important rooms and buildings. Gion is a famous entertainment and geisha district. The district is a mix of modern architecture and historical beauty. Gion is also famous for its many fine temples. The best known of these are the 15th century silver pavilion and the Chunin temple. My friend and I had a one-day trip to Nara as well. Todaiji in Nara is a famous temple with a giant Buddha. But for me, the Nara Park was more impressive than that. There were so many raw deers there. The minute when I bought the food for the raw deers, I was immediately surrounded by them. Some of them was a little aggressive. They bumped their nose against me until I fed them. My dad told me that the raw deers were not like that when he was there about 35 years ago. Maybe they were more naive at the time. After three days of being in Kyoto, we went to Osaka. Staying in Osaka was like a food tour. Just looking at all those street food was so fun. I wish I stayed there for a week to try everything they were selling there. We had takoyaki, kyuja, okonomiyaki, grilled cuttlefish, and so on. I stayed one more day in Osaka without my friend, and while being alone, I visited the Osaka Castle. The castle is one of Japan's most famous landmarks, and it played a major role in the unification of Japan during the 16th century. There was all about my short travel in Japan. This time, I made a simple but delicious Japanese dish. See you in the kitchen! for watching this video and see you next Friday. Bye!